Oh, you're very cute. Ahem. Is this thing on? Hello, zombies. I'm holding the mic because if I put it down where it's gonna have to go later, you can't hear me very well. So while we can do this, let's do it. As you can see here, we have a lovely lady and today's gonna be a very chill video because it's gonna get messy. You know, I've made an entire line of wigs. I've dreamt up what I wanted to see. I've designed them. I've picked out lace, hair quality, the hairline, cut, style, color. Did I already say that? I don't know. I've owned literally hundreds over the years now, and I've never made my own from scratch. Technically, I'm still not because this is obviously a pre-made wig, but I've never dyed my own wig with my own bare hands. <laughs> Today we're gonna change that because am I in focus? I know she's in focus, but it doesn't mean I am. Okay, this is a nice weird shot. I like it. During quarantine, I've had a very intense compulsion to dye my hair neon peach, or we're also calling it neon coral. I don't know the name of the color. I told you guys not too long ago what to call it. It's one of my favorite colors in the world. It's just like an obnoxiously bright, hot pink that's slightly orange. So it's kind of peach in my head, but I guess that's also considered coral, but some corals are not pretty. I don't know, it doesn't matter. There's a specific hair color that I want that I haven't seen in any pre-made wigs. I haven't even seen the dye exist in perfect form. So I'm gonna have to mix two, but I really wanna try to get the perfect neon coral color and have my very own wig that's the correct color. I thought about dyeing my own hair, but the thing is Spencer and I worked so hard for this blonde. I've been taking really good care of her in quarantine. She's feeling so healthy and I don't know if I want to start messing around with crazy colors right now. Plus, I know what's gonna happen. Spencer would do it, I'll get the perfect color, and then I'll wash it once and it won't be neon anymore. And if it's not neon, I don't want it. A wig is a perfect workaround for that issue, which is partially why I love wigs. It allows me to keep doing this, keep my hair healthy, but still have all the crazy hair colors I could ever desire. Creature, if you don't stop, I'm gonna disown you. Quit it. Let me also just say a quick thing before we get started. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never done this before. Let me stress that one more time. I've never done this before. It might go horribly wrong. It could go horribly right. I would love for that to happen. Be nice to have a win in 2020. This is my wig. I ordered her. I've been watching a lot of wig videos lately, particularly Miss Roshposh, one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life, and every single wig she makes is stunning. I can promise you right now, I will not be making a wig that looks that good. Just right off the bat, get your expectations really, really really low. Despite binging a lot of her videos, I'm sure I'm gonna mess up a ton of things. I know a lot of you are gonna tell me in the comments I did something wrong. I just, I already know. I already know I did it wrong. Yeah, I, we're just, we're here to have fun today, okay? Let me have fun. I just want to experiment and maybe I mess up along the way. So what? If it ends up beyond peach, I'm happy. Also, thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video because without you and without wigs, I would not be able to keep my hair healthy. So thank you very much. I'm gonna set you down where you belong over there now. Audio quality is gonna suck. I'm sorry, but we're gonna get to dying wigs and uh, I can't wait to see what happens. Now I get to start projecting. Fun. What a babe. I'm hungry, I should have eaten first. All right, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know if I've stressed that enough already, but I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. So I have a neon pink, a neon orange, and like a darker pink, wineish magenta, but I don't think I'm gonna use this one at all. I think we're gonna just stick with mostly pink with a bit of orange. Um, it would help if I opened it. I feel like I should do some kind of ombre, but I don't know what. I don't know if I should do more of the sunset orange, less. Should I put in a drop of this? I don't know. No, 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 I'm gonna resist. Maybe we start there for now. I am pretty terrified. Thank you for asking. Oh wait, uh, that was stupid. Hello, I'm back. Where's the best place to put you? Well, if I'm putting you there, I should be here. Yeah, but now I don't know if I'm in focus, so let's try this again. Hello, welcome back. Let's give it a go. Before Spencer, I used to dye my hair all the time. So I'd like to think I can handle this. I can definitely do like my roots. I do my own head and I can't even see the back of that like I can see this. So you gotta have hope, right? Not that I ever necessarily did it really well. My hair was pretty splotchy in the early days if you followed me on Instagram, but I feel like I can handle this. Oh, there's a lot of hair down there. Might have already messed up to be determined. Well, I'm gonna get it all eventually, right? So it's probably fine to just pin it up like nothing happened. <laughs> it's going great already. Maybe I should start on one side. Get, get out of my way. Just pretend you never happened. I've had my hair many, many, many colors, but never neon pink. 
Pink is not really my thing, but for some reason, if the pink has a slight amount of orange in it, and if it's neon, I'm all about it. But you change it at all, and I hate it. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but here we are. I don't know how much I should be using per strand. It's been a long time since I've done this with neon hair dye. I feel like bleach is a little easier. You just kind of put it on and pray. There are random strands of black in this wig, which is really throwing me off. Not sure what that's about. This feels therapeutic and cathartic. Are those the words I'm looking for? This is nice. I hope that this turns out good because if it does, I can have a whole new addiction. I mean, calming hobby. It's a calming hobby, but an expensive hobby. So maybe I don't want this to turn out so good because you can't dye a synthetic wig. It has to be human hair and human hair, even when it's on the cheaper side is still pretty pricey. And then you risk messing it up if you don't know what you're doing. So I don't know what idiot would take that chance. <laughs> A lot of people ask me why I wear wigs so much and the funny thing to me is I don't think people realize that I tend to wear them to do videos because it's when I feel like I'm going to work but in everyday life I just have my hair out and about like this. So I only really wear wigs for special occasions and I just happen to think that seeing you guys once a week is my special occasion. I'm having actually a lot of fun taking care of my hair for the first time in my whole life but I get bored of my hair really quickly and not just my hair actually, my look in general. I always want to change it up. Don't know if you've noticed. So wigs allow me to change it up day to day without the consequences of constantly changing my hair color. And like I said, it really, really does allow me to grow my hair, make it healthier. Ooh, I forgot you gotta be real careful around the lace already. I do have Vaseline on my lace underneath to hopefully prevent any staining of the lace, but I don't know if I did enough, so we'll see. But like I was saying, wigs are also a great way to make sure that you avoid heat on your hair, even if you just reduce it by a few times a week. If you are doing something like growing out a side shave, it's a great way to get through the awkward phase. When I cracked my head open, it was a really nice way to not worry or feel pressured about doing my hair because it hurt really, really bad to wash it, to brush it, to do anything to it. And it was an absolute rat's nest in the back of my head from all of the like matted blood that had happened. <laughs> not to get so morbid in this very non-gore video, but wigs were like my saving grace. I said this before, but I feel like I might need to bring back a saying stop the wigma. I get a lot of crap for wearing wigs sometimes. I don't really know why. Even a video from a few weeks ago, I had a bunch of people giving me shit about the quality of the wig. And like, listen guys, I'm not Nikita Dragon. Most of my wigs are not human hair, which no matter what is going to cut down on the quality. I have tried tweezing my hairline before and I've messed up a few wigs doing that. So I decided to just not. And I try to just find wigs that are either as nice as they can look considering they're synthetic or have as good of a hairline as they can considering I'm too afraid to tweeze them. I, I do what I can. Don't be a wig elitist. We're all starting somewhere. Kiwana. It's not gonna end well. I feel like I need more orange because it's looking really pink, but I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna look like when I wash it out. I probably should have done a test strand, huh? But what would the fun be in that? Part of the fun of doing this for a video is seeing my horrified reaction when it comes out totally wrong. Thank God I didn't decide I wanted to do any kind of an ombre because I don't think I could handle it. I'm barely covering this. I'd like to say that this requires no skill, but if that were true, then this needs to come out looking like a masterpiece. Like anyone can do it. And I know that's not the case. Can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. Here, I'll come over here. More orange? Is this where I make a crucial mistake? Yeah, let's do more orange. I decided to zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing? Is that what I just said? I decided to zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. Besides the fact that I'm about to pour more orange into here, which you will not see at all now. Congrats. I played you. I hope this is not a mistake. Now it looks very orange, but this looks very pink to me. So we're just gonna have to do our best. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think it helps to start from the bottom, not just because it makes more sense logistically, but also so that hopefully by the time I get to the front of the face, I'm an expert at this stuff. It's so weird that it goes on so orange and then it starts to get pink. Everyone who knows how to do hair right now is like, yeah, duh, but why does it do that? And which one's the true color? Is it closer to the one it goes on as, or is it closer to what it becomes in a few minutes? This is gonna be the real test. I don't know if I should be covering the lace back here so much so that you don't see through to the blonde wefts, or... <laughs> uh, laughs an amateur. Ooh, look at that technique. Ooh, she's a pro. Beautiful. Why do I feel like my glasses are on completely lopsided? There we go. Oh, 
While I continue doing this, let's take a quick break for a word from our sponsors, Function of Beauty. Alexa, play Catless Whisper. I got a ton of compliments on how good my hair is looking in my last video, so thank you. I know you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Besides wig wearing, I think a lot of that is owed to Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty is a fully customizable hair care line without parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free, and it's super simple to get started. Take a two minute quiz about your hair types, goals, and personalized preferences. They have a bunch of different colors that you can mix or match, and you can choose the name that's printed on your bottle too. If you want some added care for your hair, they have a leave-in treatment, a hair mask, a hair serum, and those are all customizable too. Order once or do a recurring subscription with the option to cancel or tweak your formula anytime. It's all super cute, but more importantly, I see a noticeable difference when I have Function of Beauty versus when I run out of it. Who says a shampoo can't be pretty and smart? Follow my link below to get 20% off your first order. And we're back. Look at how much I got done during our ad break. I'm much faster when you're not watching me. Well, you were watching me, but you were watching a different Mikey from a different point in time. And this Mikey is faster when you're not watching the other Mikey. You know what? Forget it. You don't deserve my explanation of time travel. You know it was great earlier. I noticed that if I get any little drops of this on the floor, it would probably stain it. And I started to get really worried about that because I'm kind of clumsy. And then, almost like he heard me via telepathy, Creature came and laid it directly under my wig. Which is great because if any drops on him, it's fine. You can use this dye to dye dogs. It's safe for dogs. What if you had like a neon peach mustache? If this video gets a million likes, I'll dye Creature orange so that he looks like a Halloween dog. But it has to be a million. So I'm getting up to the very top here and this is where I'm starting to get nervous as well. Cause this is where it gets really real, you know? It's do or die. <gasps> Accidental pun. Nice. Thank you. Thought it was pretty good. Watch out Spencer, I'm coming for your gig. Both of them. I had to mix a whole new bowl just now and I'm hoping I matched it to the first batch. I don't know if I did. Or I'm hoping that if I don't exactly think that this color was the perfect color, that this one is the perfect color. Just Cause it's on the top. All you hair colorists and stylists out there, I don't know how you do it. I mean, granted, I spent the first three hours of this in my, in my feet. <laughs> in my bare feet on a hardwood floor. So, you know, not ideal, I realized, when it was too late. But still, it hurts to just stand in the same spot for a very long amount of time. I Ooh, me too. Yeah, let's learn. Are we having an all-night slumber party where we don't slumber? Uh, maybe. You don't have anything to do tomorrow, right? Nope. Sweet. Drink your Red Bull. I have a couple in the fridge. Oh, I have not drink your Red Bull. <laughs> Can you guys see the time on the microwave behind me? Yeah, it's a little bit <laughs> Oh, but the night is young. I've definitely filmed much later than this. Many, many times. Many, many times. I try really hard not to start filming past 10 anymore, because if I start that late, it pretty much never ends well, but... How did you start tonight? Past 10. I think I started at like midnight or 11. Look, I'm actually really excited to do this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing if I can get a wig that is the perfect hair color in my eyes. So I decided I, I couldn't wait another day. I want to start it right now. Not just the video, it's a passion project. Oh, hell yeah. I just figured I might as well film it, but I'd be doing this regardless, so. All right, Miss Rosh Posh has emphasized how tedious you must be at the very front of the lace. So I am trying to be very, very careful. I make no promises. I think I can design wigs better than I can dye them. So if, it, oh God, I just messed it up. It's fine, we're gonna cut it off anyway, right? All right, we are at the top piece and I'm getting really hype at three in the morning. Started out so chill and I'm just getting more excited as we go along because my dream is coming true right before my eyes. Ooh girl, ooh girl, so exciting. I just got a huge glob on my paper towel that I hope doesn't seep through. This is looking promising color wise. I have high hopes, very important, the front. She's got a cute do right now, you see that? Look at how cute that is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Final piece. Someone's gonna yell at me because this is a giant piece, but I just want the satisfaction of doing it all at once. I'll go through, I'll be real thorough. Uh, just let me live, okay? It feels really good to just paint an entire bang of hair at once. Didn't promise it'd be good. I just promised we'd have a good time. 
All right, I'm sectioning it. Relax. Relax. It's me out that after all this dye, you can still just kind of dig into it and find all these blonde patches. It does not give me high hopes for what we're going to find after I wash this out. I'm aware that there is a much easier way to dye wigs called the watercolor method. I know. I know that it's much faster. I know it can make it nice and even so that you don't miss any spots like that. But I also heard that dyes like Arctic Fox do not do super well with watercolor because they're so thick and creamy that they don't always dilute and give you a nice even watercolor. So. I figured I would just commit to the time and the patience that it takes to do it this way rather than risk wasting the dye and potentially messing up the wig. Maybe I'll try a watercolor next, but I also saw that if you want really, really vibrant colors, you might just want to avoid the watercolor method because it's not always as saturated as if you do it this way, which makes sense because it's diluted in water. Fun! I'm gonna scrape the very last of what's in my bowl, try to get it in any spots I missed, and then I think it's good to just bake a little Oh, that's a big patch. Oh my god. Oh dear. Thank god we're going over it. 3.28 a.m. Alright, now we wait. Day two. Okay, so today's the big exciting day. She's pretty much ready for application. I'm very excited to see what she looks like when she's on, and I am just gonna finish up my eye makeup to go with the wig. I don't really know what to do, because I feel like it's so bright, I don't wanna compete with it, with the makeup, at least the first time I see it. It's gonna be a special moment for us. Maybe I'll branch out and experiment some other time, but for today, I think I'm just gonna keep it really, really simple with a really bold cat eye, which is pretty much my go-to, and I might make my lips a little pink to go with it, but we'll see. I wanna wait to put it on until the very end. Off to a great start. So the last thing you saw is after I was done dyeing it, I washed the wig out using shampoo and conditioner, and it was really orange after that initial wash. It had hints of pink, but I, I had clearly overdone it. So I actually ended up doing the watercolor method twice after that. I didn't record this because I wasn't sure if it was gonna do anything. It did a little bit the first time. I poured in a bunch of the pink into a tub of warm water, and then I just kind of dipped the wig into it and let it soak for a few minutes, and that helped. But then I started to tweeze the hairline to make it look a little bit more natural, and I noticed that I was kind of pulling the dye out of the hairs around it by like touching it a lot and doing all that. So I soaked it one more time and I soaked it longer the second time, and that took it from, I'd say like 80% orange and 20% pink to a pretty nice even mix of the two colors that I'm much happier with. Then after that, blow dried it. Blue dry? Blow dried? Blow, blue, blowed dry. I dried it. I straightened it. And then I gave her a little trim. I wanted to cut it into a bob. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't have hair cutting scissors, so that was out. Why do I hate this? I like, I hate it unless I can do the giant wing. My back hurts. I'm full of complaints today. It's an Amy Winehouse kind of day. Accidental Amy Winehouse kind of day. Oh my god, those don't look the same at all. What in the hell is going- I can't tell what's up with my eyeballs. I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to blow drying or straightening hair the proper way, so please don't make fun of me. She's an amateur. She's been saying this. And then I trim the lace, which a lot of people ask me how I do that. I don't know if there's a more proper way to do it. I just trim it with little tiny baby scissors as close as I can to the actual hair starting. Sometimes I'll do a straight line. Sometimes I'll do more of a zigzag line. It depends on how it looks. In this case, I did a bit of a zigzag, like a tiny bit, just because I know it's gonna be a little bit too dark. I got into wigs because of the convenience of them. So something that I normally look for is being able to just pop them on, not go through like this long process of gluing and blending and plucking. Obviously the wigs look much better if you do all those things and if you buy a really high quality one and then you can have it glued on for days, but that takes away the fun convenience factor. I'm starting to feel more patient and I'm starting to wanna get into the idea of learning those things and getting better at those things because this wig and where I got it from is kind of made for customization. I think I'm gonna have to tweak this one. I'm probably gonna have to glue it down. Sometimes I'll tape my wigs down, but that's kind of the most I'll do, which is part of why when I designed my line of wigs, a big focus for me was to make sure that they were just, I almost said poppable, like you can just 
pop them on your head, they're poppable. I wanted you to be able to put them on without having to blend anything, so I tried to make the lace truly transparent, not just transparent. I tried to make sure that it was already styled so that you wouldn't have to do anything to it, unless you wanted to. I tried to make sure that it fit in a way so that you wouldn't have to glue it down, and those things are going to depend on the person. I don't think you can make it perfect for everyone, but that was my goal, but I just have a feeling that this one's not gonna go that way. So we might learn something new together. We have to stop the wigma. It's just a really easy way to express yourself even further. Like we do it with our clothes, we do it with our makeup. Why can't we do it with our hair daily? I'm so excited to put this on. She's staring at me right there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And one thing I'm really scared about is that it's not gonna sit and fit well across my forehead Because when I tried it on before she seemed really loose up here And I've never actually dealt with a wig like that before because I usually try my wigs on before I buy them So that I know that they fit. I don't usually order them offline. So this is new territory for me I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna fix that if that's the case now that the lace is cut So that'll be a fun experiment together Wow, that's just, that's just an all eyelash look. I've worn so little makeup in quarantine that it's genuinely shocking to me to see my eyes looking all big again because of big eyelashes and eyeliner. Who am I? What am I? Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna go get her. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Look it. She looks pretty accurate to true life color, which is a very, very bright orangey pink. Peachy coral, neon, fluorescent, freaking gorgeous, perfect, perfection, pinkish. Forget where we started. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's perfect. Let me just shut up, let me put it on. Should I shave my head, yes or no? Like this video if I should shave my head. If this video gets two million likes, I'll shave my head. Oh, woo! So I mentioned I gave her a little, little bit of bang, kind of faux baby hairs here. I did. Oh, not that, not that though. Just gonna add to the baby hairs a little bit here. Now the question is, what do I do to make it look a little bit better? Because as you can see here, that's what I was afraid of. It doesn't fit super snug to my head. In fact, it's, it's quite loose. And we want it to fit like that. And like I thought, the lace is a bit too dark, especially if you get rid of these little baby hairs. It's not terrible, but I think something we can do, don't know if this is what people do, but I'm thinking that if I put a little bit of powder under the lace, that might help blend it a bit. Yep, I'd say that helped. It's not perfect, but it works. And then I think I should tape this down. I don't have wig glue, but I do have Prozade, and I bet I could use Prozade. But should I? Should I? So you can see if the lace just matched a bit better, the hairline itself looks pretty good. But it's so dark, look at that lace. It's hard for me to avoid. If you guys have any tips on how to make lace even lighter, let me know. I've tried bleaching it in the past, and for some reason I didn't have luck with that, but maybe I didn't do it right or something, I don't know. Oh, I've never glued a wig before, I'm scared. Let's try it though. This could be a huge mistake. Big mistake, huge. I would normally take my makeup off underneath first, but I'm a little scared that because my skin is so pink underneath, it's not gonna look right. It's gonna be real obvious. The one time I'm glad I have so much forehead real estate, Wait for those to turn clear. On a side note, while we wait, I'm really glad that the color looks accurate to real life in my footage right now because I was really worried. Every picture I've taken with my phone, it looks so orange. And here it looks like the perfect peachy pink. Hmm, does not really seem to be holding it at all. Okay, where is it? Nope, that didn't work. Okay, all right, let's try something else. This is why I like poppable wigs. Look at that, I'm a cone head. You know what, I'll get out the wig tape fine. So I got this tape here, see? And this sticker on real good, so let's just go for it. Oh, that is such a good look. Is my hairline really that far back? Wow, I have a seven head. All right, I'm gonna cut this in half because even though I have a lot of real estate, I feel like it's too thick and then I can get more use out of it anyway. So now I got BB strips. This is the highest effort I usually put into applying my wigs. It's for like a real special occasion and I would say today is that day. There we go. I feel like I should change my lipstick though. This is so drab and this is so fab. Let's see if matching my lipstick is the best idea or the worst idea. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. Do I like the pink? Maybe black? Maybe we do subtle. 
Okay, so I, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. So there were some learning mistakes along the way, but all in all, not bad. I'm really happy with how the color came out. I didn't think I'd get this close considering I don't know what I'm doing. Although Kristen Leanne from Arctic Fox did recommend the colors and send me the colors, so some of it is thanks to her. If I did it again, I would buy a different wig from a different brand because the fit of this is really bugging me. Usually with a little bit of tape, I can just tape down one spot if it doesn't fit great and we're good to go, but this fits so badly up here that it keeps popping up. Look at that, see? Look at that. Get down there. Get. Get down. And if I did it again, I would actually probably try to do this color one more time, but I would attempt to do like a fade from this really vibrant neon color into more of a pastel version of it at the ends, a little ombre action. And I might even experiment with putting some roots in the wig so that it looks a little more natural as well. But I figured let me start real simple and see if I can handle that. I'll work my way up. If you guys like this video, I can mess around with some more for fun, not educationally. If you wanna learn how to really do this stuff, well, like I said, there's a lot of wig videos on YouTube and a lot of creators that are doing it, but the one that I ended up watching a lot of was Miss Rosh Posh, and she seems very knowledgeable and her wigs look so beautiful. So just go there if you want the educational stuff and if you want me to risk wasting my money on another wig, let me know. I can destroy some shit. I'm glad this one turned out pretty well. If I can figure out how to get this to fit better, I will definitely wear the heck out of this. I kind of want to put it with neon pink brows or at least put a little bit of pink in here to see what that looks like. I'm usually a pretty firm believer that the way to pull off a bright colored wig is to just match your eyebrows to it or at least some of it. So let me try that out too. But I wanted to show you what it looks like as is. She is beauty and she's grace. Boom. Slightly neon peach eyebrows. That's a whole different look. I like it too. Cute. If you're new here or lurking, please subscribe. Like this video if this color is not called Neon Peach and fight in the comments about it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi honey. Oh my god, you almost choked me to death. Oh, oh, oh that might be the difference. Someday. I was just about to say this one was so close to falling. <laughs> I was thinking that. Uh, the dogs broke the light. Oh no. I knew that this wig could not go smoothly. <laughs> there had to be something. Well, they finally did it. Their antics finally did it. I knew it was just a matter of time.